Oftentimes we're finding the probability of events. Sometimes they are independent events where one event doesn't affect another one, and oftentimes they will also be dependent where one event does affect the other one. So we're going to look at this problem and sort of compare and contrast the difference between independent and dependent. Okay, so what we're doing is we are grabbing marbles out of a bag. We have six green and four blue. And we're trying to find the probability we draw a green and then a blue. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is what's called with replacement. So we're taking out a marble and then we are putting it back in. Okay. So the first draw we want to grab a green. We have six green marbles out of a 10 total. So the probability of drawing a green is going to be six out of 10. Okay. We put that marble back because we're dealing with replacement and then we want to grab a blue. So when we grab our blue, we have four blues out of 10 because we put it back. So now we just have a 4 tenths chance of that blue. To find the probability of both occurring, we just multiply and end up with 24 over 100. That could be simplified, but I'm not terribly concerned with the actual numeric value, just more the concept of what's going on. Okay, so that is with replacement, and those are independent events. It didn't matter that I drew the screen first. The probability of the blue is still the same thing no matter what. Okay. Without replacement. So now I am taking a marble and I'm not putting it back in. Okay? So we still need to grab that green first. There's still 10 marbles. We're grabbing one. There's six greens. So the probability is still six tenths that we grab that green. We don't put that back. So now instead of dealing with 10 marbles, we're now dealing with nine. We want to grab a blue. There are four blue. So the probability is now just four ninths that we grab that blue, multiply these probabilities together, we end up with 24 out of 90. So our probability has increased because we didn't put that marble back. Okay? This is a dependent situation, this without replacement, because where probability changes for the second marble depending on what happened with the first. Okay. There are some formulas for dependent probability. I tend to find them confusing. I tend to just sort of think about them logically and sort of look at the pool you're choosing from versus the outcome that you want. Okay? You can do a lot of these with tree diagrams, sort of diagram, okay, what's going to happen here, here, probability of each, branch that off to another. In general, that will almost always give you the right answer. It is just going to create a little bit more work than just thinking about it logically. Okay? So dependent events. When one event varies the outcome of another, just think about how they impact each other and how the probabilities change given that first event.